Okay, today we're leaving Weston, Colorado, which is about 18 miles west of Trinidad, Colorado, on Highway 12, or the Highway of Legends that goes over the Sangre de Cristos, which you can see in the background. When I zoom in, that shows you kind of really how big they look, as far as views go. And so this is the Western Weston Supply Store. Um, and we'll be taking a right going on County Road 31.9 and going up Wet Canyon Road and look at properties today. And I've zoomed in a little bit and you can see the Purgatory River flowing down below there. So I'll be taking shots of Wet Canyon as we're going up to, to see property and we're crossing the Purgatory. And that comes down from the mountains of the National Forest up above. From this pro from the properties up in White Canyon, you're going to be about oh, anywhere from 10 minutes to 30 minutes to mountain lakes or any public areas around. But there's 35,000 acres of wildlife area right behind Weston here. You get some of the biggest elk in the world. I've got it zoomed in so you can get a pretty realistic view of the drive. Well, like I was saying, there's mile markers that go all the way up this canyon. And when you get to the top of the canyon, you're about 15 and a half miles up. And then you start dropping down, it's 21 miles down to Aguilar, Colorado. And you pick up the pavement again. Uh, it's county maintained roads, year round access on all these tracks up in this canyon. And uh, the elk and the deer are extremely plentiful because this is uh, the best elevation in this area is around 7,500 to oh, 9,000 feet for moisture. And uh, when you get about three miles up White Canyon, you come to a ranch called Big Pine Ranch. There's about 50, 35 acre tracks in Big Pine. We're at about three and a half miles. We come to another ranch. And this ranch is called Cielo Grande. And at about four miles, you come to the old sawmill that's, uh, they also own Al's Gas for propane service in the area in Los Angeles County. It's the old sawmill and it's still functioning so you can get uh, rough, rough sawn lumber here and also uh, tongue and groove lumber and things like that. At about four and a half miles you come to another ranch and it'll be on the left and it's Timber Ridge Ranch. 35 acre tracks again most most properties in this area are going to be 35 acres at least because you have to have 35 acres plus in order to get a water well unless uh, the smaller tracks were grandfathered in uh, before 1978 which most five and ten acre tracks in this area all of them were all done before then and they could all get water wells too as you can see the traffic's real busy that's the first person i've seen this morning it's july 1st and uh, everybody seems to be quiet and doing other things but the traffic on these roads are very little at any time big pine ranch cougar cougar ridge this turn we see the entrance to San Pablo Canyon ranches again 35 acre track ranches you can see the sun rays in the background poking up over the valley back there we have an average summer temperature of about 80 degrees and a winter average temperature of about 50 degrees you'll get about 80 to 100 inches of snow in this canyon 80 to 100 inches of snow in this canyon in a winter, but because of the temperatures, it melts fast. And this is where Wet Canyon starts to really open up. You can see the West Spanish Peak and the East Spanish Peak in the background there. We're about eight miles up Wet Canyon now. Then we get about nine miles up. You can take a right here, and this will cut you over to other uh, canyons in, in the county uh, to where you get to public lands. And you can drive these back roads all through this county, uh, especially if you have a map. We're just passing mile marker eight. That was a little off of my mileage. Mile marker eight, and you can see the West Spanish Peak really well now, and the East Spanish Peak in the background. And this is the volunteer fire department. Um, that's one of them in the area that's up in Wet Canyon. Yeah, they call it Wet Canyon because the old timers said that. Uh, 
when this would flood, the, the water would go from bank to bank, or, you know, wall to wall of the canyons here. And this is the West Spanish Peak looking up the Wet Canyon to the north. It's just beautiful to see when you're driving up and down here. We just passed the 10 mile marker. I'm getting ahead of myself. But as we're driving up here, you haven't heard me mention um, ranches, any more ranches for a while, because we've we been driving through what's called Old Cimarron Ranch. So if you hear me talk about that in the future, then uh, you'll know we're generally we're Old Cimarron Ranch, 40 acre track. Those are the Sangre de Cristos in the background as you're driving up, and you can get to those uh, Sangres through and go over Cordova Pass uh, back up in here at the top of Wet Canyon. Get, get up to, there's mile marker 11. And we're coming to mile marker 12 and then it'll open, the canyon will open back up again as we're heading up here. And right past mile marker 12, there's another ranch. It was a part of the old Cimarron Ranch, but they divided it into five and 10 acre tracks. And it's called Pine Valley Filing. To go to a, a portion of Pine Valley Filing, you take a right on Deer Path, 21, County Road 21.5. Coming to mile marker 14, and there's a left turn at what I call, we call the White Schoolhouse. Which, if you go back west this direction, and you're going to be going into Pine Valley filing tracks, five and ten acre tracks. There's the White Schoolhouse, and you can go left and go into Pine Valley filing five and ten acre tracks back in that direction. So we're headed to um, some pi uh, pi Pine Valley filing tracks. We take some video of them, five and six acre tracks. And this is the shot. You can see Fisher's Peak over Trinidad. So washed out. In the background, way down there. When you start at Weston, you're at about 7,500 foot elevation, 72. By the time you get to the very top of Wet Canyon, you are at 9,000 feet. Right now, we're about 8,500. These tracks are going to be Pine Valley filing tracks. Going to be somewhere between 8,000 and 8,500. Six acres we're going to go to it has a new road and a site on it, and it has great views of Sangre de Cristos. And power is going to be back there on Wet Canyon Road, so you got solar here. And when you come to this four-way, you just want to keep going straight. We just came up the road there, and you'll when I'm driving out, you'll see the tremendous views of the Spanish Peaks. Okay, we've only come about a quarter mile past the four-way. Uh, just keep going straight. You'll see that left. That goes to other tracks in Pine Valley filing here. And we're coming to the track on our right-hand side. But I want to show you as the views open up here. Once you... There's a zoomed-in shot of the Sangre de Cristos. They look about that big. Actually a little bigger. Starting right, starting right where this little tree is. You can see that tree right there across the road. Pin for this six acres is going to be right back here. The site's going to be, it's up on the hill up here so you can get the views of the Sangres. And you can look over the valley with some tree thinning. On this side, you're going to really open up your views. The elk and deer up here and bear are like nobody's business. It goes to another ranch. And this is the valley we'll be looking up from the pad site. You can start building a cabin or uh, camping or set your RV on it. So we're coming to the drive entrance the owner had cut. And the other property corner along the road here is about like right down in here. It's not much further past the drive. So we'll go up this. And so this land, it has this ridge over here in this grass valley that goes up the middle there. And the bench that comes out where the site is at, you can extend it a long ways to get more room for building or doing okay, whatever. Turn around, we're going to go up the drive, the new drive, and up to the site. That's the valley to the northwest. See the 
Sorry, Christelle's coming through the trees there. And the property goes up there on top of the hill for views too. And the property corner we first came to is right down there off the side and down back down the road. I see you saw right there. there. A little difficult through the trees. Some thinning. So we come off the pad just a little bit so you can see that we had made so you can pull up and you can back in here and then go back down if you wanted to. Even park an RV here. And thinning these trees, you're going to have Sangre de Cristo views going up. And down here down there is the road we drove in on in the would it be the northeast corner road or northeast corner along the road look at the you can see the west bench peak through the trees it's huge it's quiet in here you just hear the birds so you could uh, make trails going up here because a portion of the, of the property that's up there on top uh, where you get really good views and uh, I'll take a walk up there so the road we came in on goes all, all along the bottom here and then around we came up the driveway here This is where we came in at. There's the driveway. And we'll zoom in on the song grazing, you can see what it looks like. Okay, I'll leave the site and hike up. Here, get my lighting right. That sun. It's early morning. I don't know, nine. Not that early. Some aspens and the you walk, you start picking up all these views. But again, as I zoom in, it's uh, that's the prettiest, and it shows the more realistic size of the mountains. So that's the grass valley down below that we turned into. Yeah, you get crazier and crazier. As you come around, you pick up more of the song grazes are going up. And get on top, you really see the song grazes to the west. We came up from down there. West Mash peaks up over through there. You can see mountains into New Mexico this day. <laughs> Get the range here. They come around. The trees, you really can't see all of them. But this is what it looks like up on top. It's looking back south. This direction here. Okay. Come back down.
Okay, we're just leaving the site and I want to show the drive out a little bit so you can see these tremendous views and especially the valley if you open up. So you've got more room, you could extend this site coming out here because this bench goes out of ways. But uh, the, the valley that this thing looks up is incredible. And the elk and the deer, you'll see 150, 200, 225 herd of elk in this valley up here. Um, and deer, you see all the time. Turkey too, turkey and bear. Mountain lion, occasionally, but if you have dogs, you're not ever gonna see them. And bobcats occasionally as well so that's going south I don't know if I can get a shot up the valley with all the pine trees here now but you saw the valley in the in the drone video it's incredible and water wells are great in this area now, anywhere up in wet canyon um, but especially up here is we're, we're at the source see in there a little bit all right I'll show you the view of the Spanish peaks as you're driving back to the white schoolhouse on Wet Canyon Road, and we'll be, we're only about a mile and a half off of uh, Wet Canyon Road to get to the property. And you can see the West Spanish Peak in the background, how huge it is. And that's all wildlife area and uh, national forest. Of course, you can get to Cordova Pass uh, by going back down the Aguilar Way, as I call it, from the top of Wet Canyon and get over to Cachara Pass and um, Cachara and the mountain lakes and all the stuff up there too so if you're seeing this on any place but my website please uh if you're uh, please go to ranchviews.com ranchviews.com i do this kind of uh, stuff with all my properties and i've got more there some songrays right there